Right, so what I want to do now is implement this right here. And to do that, we use something called model managers. And it's actually really simple. We just override the object's attribute of a model and set it to our own model manager. So jumping into models.py for our article model, we'll go ahead and create class article and it's models.manager. And so inside of here, we're going to define that search feature and it's going to take in self and query and then it's going to return something. In this case, we'll just do article.objects.filter and title I contains query. No worries, we will definitely make it better again. Um, but once we actually implement that, we just need to map it in to the objects itself. All right, so objects equals to, well, this should be article manager, not article. And so we come down here article manager, now it's actually piped in with a new manager. And so I can actually change these now and come in here and save it. Of course, the actual lookup is not there, so we might as well add that in just a moment. Uh, but if I refresh in my search, do a quick search, notice it's actually bringing me, well, it's bringing me something. Um, so it is doing this search and it is searching down by a lookup, but not the correct one. So just a quick reminder to do those complex queries we do from django.db.models we import q and then we say our lookups equal to q and then the two lookups we plan on doing the first one of course is the one that we just did here and then the second one being something like the content creating those lookups and then we pass this in. So now we've got that dynamic lookup going on uh, that we had here. So I can now get rid of these three lines here as well as that import for Q. Okay, uh, so this is great. It's actually doing that search for me and now I can do those you know, more complex lookups all across the board and it should work just fine. And now it's very, very reusable, uh, including other kinds of models potentially, except I have the article model hard coded in here and I have article.objects hard coded in here, which is of course not the way to do it. Instead, we'll do self and dot get query set and then do that filter. So this actually will filter it based off of the same exact stuff, but now I can actually reuse this method in other model managers across my site, which I think is pretty cool. And so now that we've got that, we can of course refresh, just check it out and it still is working. So there is one more step that I could do here, and that is actually passing in the whole thing, right? Just, just passing in the query and having all the conditions in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out there. And this time I'm gonna change the query to being a keyword argument. And so back into my models, I'll go ahead and say query equals to none. And this is when I'll do if the query is none or the query is equal to just an empty string, then I'll return self.get query set. And of course I can do dot all again, but of course if the query is none or empty string, then I really actually wanna return nothing back. So uh, dot none with parentheses there is basically returning back article.objects.none. That's the same exact thing, but it's an empty query list. So it's still a list, it's just empty, which means that it will still try to iterate through things it just won't, it won't have anything to iterate through. Uh, so that's the way you're gonna want to have an empty query set list anyway. So now when we actually come back into our search here with an empty search, we have no results showing up, which I think is good. Uh, but our search, actual search of view is significantly less complex, right? It's just basically saying, hey, pass in the query to the actual model manager and then we'll have something come back. So going back into our models though, there is a, another thing that I wanna add in here, which is something called a custom query set manager. And so what we do here is article query set, and we'll do models.query set. And then this is where I can do one more thing, and that is the, let's say for instance, search query, something like that, or simply just search. Now. The name being the same is gonna come very clear in just a moment. Uh, but what I wanna do here is actually implement all of this logic into this. And instead of set, it's just simply self.filter. And again, we will just do self.none, right? Okay, or just return self, either one. But in this case, I'll do self.none, okay. So now I actually want to use this custom query set for my search instead. 
And to do that, we're gonna override the get query set method here. And it'll take in self. And it's gonna return that article query set of self.model using which database we're using, which is simply just self.db. Uh, so you can actually change the database, the default database. This is just the default database, which is what I recommend you do unless you really know what you're doing. Okay, so now that we have this new get query set method or this new query set manager, instead of having all this stuff in the search method, I can now just return self.get query set and dot search of that query. So query being that query. Now, you might be wondering why would it ever want to do something like this? Well, it actually has little to do with the search itself, but rather if I wanted to do something like dot filter, and let's say for instance, title I contains a T or something, right? Um, so now what it's doing is I actually filtered down a query set right here, and then I filter it down even more. And the only way I can filter it down even more is if it is its own custom query set, uh, which is exactly why I did it that way. And I think this is a much more robust method because then I can search on any query set, not just the one single model manager query set. And of course, this is not a very practical example because if I search here, um, I'm, getting, I'm getting some issues going on. Oops, I got multiple values for query. And that is not what it should be. It should be just one value. And let's see here. Let's try that again. And I must have implemented something wrong. So back into the models. Oh yes, so it is a instance method. So we're gonna put the self there up front. Um, okay, so now I, I come back and, and now it's actually working. Um, and of course, if it's empty, if the search is empty, it's not gonna show me something again, right? Uh, so yet again, it's showing me something when I actually perform a search, but now it's a much more narrow search itself, right? Um, so going back into those views, if it says office, just office itself, um, and I type out hello world, you know, it's not gonna give me all of those results. It's now a more narrowed uh, result itself. But of course, that's actually not something I wanna do. I, I actually still want to do that entire search method, but it's nice to know that these things work hand in hand a lot of the times. And now this is also important for a published date, right? So if I were using a published date in the queries itself, I might actually want to add a method for handling that as well. Something I'm not gonna cover just yet, um, but that is model managers and custom query sets. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, keep going.